Hey guys, it's Brian with Center Consoles Only. No, I am not floating on the water. I'm actually on the extended swim platform on the Solace 345. Just on one of the amazing features on this boat. This extension back here takes the boat to about 38 feet, gives you four foot extra extension past your 425 XTOs. This is twin 425 XTO powered. Just a really nice feature to be able to get out all the way to the back and actually almost on the water itself. So as we move forward, we notice that the cockpit space is quite large, especially because we have that extra space back there. Now I'm gonna show you a little bit here, see if we can get these hatches open, show you guys how clean this boat is rigged. So we have a massive sea chest with pool cleaner strainers. You have independent pumps for everything and you have something that is absolutely cool. They have tuna tubes on this boat and in the event that the sea chest pumps go bad, you can actually switch and use the tuna tube pumps in replacement of the sea chest pumps. So that's actually a really nice backup feature. Speaking of live wells and tuna tubes, go ahead and show you this live well and tuna tube section. It's 45 gallon live wells with the tuna tube on the side. It's pretty awesome really clean nice blue color got rod holders right behind it and you have the what typically would be a transom style seating but because the transom is not quite the usual transom we've got actually port and starboard rear seating here which is a really nice feature to get a big family or a big fishing team out there to the fishing grounds port and starboard we have access to our rigging and service items like fuel filters and water separators fuel water separators we have the same exact setup over on the starboard side we're going to move over here to kind of what makes this a very stable platform the sea keeper 2. now it is inverter based so it's going to be an extremely quiet running sea keeper 2 because it is running off of the batteries through xantrex inverter into the sea keeper itself As we move forward, we've got this rear facing seating here, which has a very neat fiberglass step and footrest. So it makes it very, very easy to get in and out of the way. We've got tons of storage here as well. And I believe it is tackle storage if you want. Got more storage, just tons and tons of storage on this boat. If we raise this here, we have a summer kitchen. We have a grill, sink as well, and pretty large size cutting board. You've got your paper towel roll holder as well. Go ahead and close that up. Now, if you face up here, you'll notice they have a really, really neat electric shade. Now, if I can let's see, raise the shade by button, you can go ahead and take a look at that. See that shade come up or come down depending on what you all need. The shade is completely electric. You don't have to do anything. Just push the button. Now, one thing that we teased earlier was the new styling. Some of the upgrades include these amazing handholds, beautiful handholds as part of the actual uh, steps up to get to the top. Now, on the side here, midship, we've got an amazingly sized fish box. It's actually two door, single fish box. Love that. Guys, pack it full of ice, only open one slot, keep all that cold air in there, keep that ice much longer. What I'm standing on right now at the helm is actually an electric platform. So this platform allows me to raise it or lift it depending on the height of the person driving the boat. We've got leaning, we've got captain's chairs in the chair leaning uh, post combo. We've got a beautiful flush mount helm, jail audio, zip wake, trim tabs, which is an automatic gyro controlled trim tab system. Really, really nice. A couple scan struck chargers. You've got your helm master joystick control. Makes it very easy. Anybody could operate this boat. You do have a couple of cubbies on either side and you've got sea deck on top of the console there. Very nice. And a windscreen that is electric actually hydraulic rather. So you can open and close the windscreen without a problem. Up on the hard top, you'll notice you have all Bocatech switching, your Seakeeper controls, as well as two Garmin VHFs. 
got to stay safe out there. The VHFs are absolutely important. Over here, we'll have storage typically for maybe fire extinguishers or uh, ropes if you need to put them. Got jail audio sound there as well. And then what we'll do is we're going to go into this berth here. So we'll show you this berth has a ton of space, a monster sized hinge. This is made completely in house. So this acts as seating if you're just hanging out as well as folds right down to give you a place to rest. This is an air conditioned space. It has a small kitchenette and you have here your microwave, a sink, and you've got your toilet over there. Also has rock holder storage and access to some of your JL Audio amplifiers and Garmin network equipment. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and head forward. Close that up. As we move forward, you'll notice there's charging stations. There are little storage bins everywhere. Got little, little pockets and little nooks to hold your stuff. You see that there's a huge chaise lounge here in the front giving you all that extra space in the cabin. Also, as we move forward, you've got the loungers with a ton of storage space down there. And lastly, up at the bow, we've got a huge fish box here as well. So this boat gives you quite a bit of luxury. It also gives you all the fishability you need. That extra platform in the rear is ideal for the guys who just want to get out there, have extra cockpit space, and catch a lot of fish. Guys, this has been the Solace 345 in its updated, in its updated style. Hope you liked the walkthrough. Give us a, a like, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and check us out on Instagram, at Center Consoles Only. Thanks for your time. I'm Brian. This has been your 7-Minute Drill.